Hi, this is Christine Cherry with Quattro Boosters, and today is day 10 in the 90-day challenge that uh, Quattro University has uh, put up for us, and doing pretty good. I wanted to talk tonight about legacy, because that's uh, an often neglected area of our life, and I've been doing a lot lately on wealth and wellness, so we're going to take a little break here. And I wanted to tell you the story about our little fur persons, because we don't have children, but our children are our cats. Um, about three or four years ago, we were on a mission to find a couple of new cats, because our roommate's cats had passed away, and well, one of ours, a beloved Maine Coon we had had for years, had passed away. And so I really love Maine Coons. They're very sweet cats. They, they grow really big, uh, sometimes 25, 30 pounds. They have a wonderful temperament. So I looked around the San Fernando Valley. I was told they're never out for adoption because everyone loves them so much, and they're never available. But I did eventually locate two of them in a little town called Lebec outside of Bakersfield, California. Now, um, it was an organization called Cause for Cats, and that's cause for cats, the number four, instead of uh, the word F-O-R. And I checked up on them uh, recently here because we are thinking about maybe getting another companion for rhubarb, our, our male, because males like to play rough, and he's always beating up on his mother, who's also a Maine Coon. But I wanted to share some of the statistics because cause for cats really needs help. They are a couple that take care of 200 cats in Lebec, and the organization overall takes care of over 400 cats, 30 dogs. They feed hundreds of ferals on the streets of Bakersfield and in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, where we picked up Rhubarb and Harley was uh, in Lebec. They receive help from Petco, where they show cats and dogs in Bakersfield, Burbank, Northridge, Porter Ranch, and the San Fernando Valley. They get grants from various organizations, and volunteers come in to help. They clean cat boxes. They remove trash. They spend quality time with the cats and animals and do various chores. They're always struggling to find ways to cover vet expenses and buy food supplies. While the cat litter is donated by two local manufacturers, the vet and the food bills are just, they have to be made in payments. So I'm including a couple of little pictures here of our little darlings. Rhubarb is the orange one. And his mother, Harley, is a very delicate and very small, beautiful tortoise shell. And she's an absolute doll. Um, I'm going to put up the website, which is actually a live journal. They don't have their website anymore. But it's causeforcats.livejournal.com. So this is Christine Cherry. And Rhubarb is going to be getting his own Facebook page, and uh, we hope that everybody out there that's a cat owner will link to him, and we're going to link him with um, cat-friendly companies. Thank you very much, and uh, stay strong and support your causes and live the power of four. Never set the cat on fire, you only will annoy it. The heat will make the beast perspire, she surely won't enjoy it. Likewise, do not ignite the dog, the snake, the gerbil, or the frog. No, never set the cat on fire. 